Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can remove uh, this Trojan Gen 2 from your system. Uh, first of all, are you infected with it? The ways you can find out is typically if your computer is running slower than normal. Uh, when you're in your internet browser making searches, do you keep on getting redirected to unwanted pages and keep on getting fake pop-ups about system errors? unwanted advertisements, it can even cause uh, frequent system crashes, blue screen of deaths on your system. If we have a look at these images that I found, these are typically the sort of uh, pop-ups or redirections that I'd expect you to get. Uh, whatever you do, <laughs> do not call this number, do not ask them for help, they're just trying to get information from your system such as credit card details or personal details like your address and and things like that so yeah if you get these messages just close them down uh, do not take action on them uh, this is another e example uh, this one is the most clever one because if you look at it, it it looks like a Windows application uh, but you can see here it's saying uh, that it's found an infection click yes uh, as soon as you click yes it will redirect you to a website and it'll probably try and download and install another virus on your machine uh, so as you can see if you have this trojan on your machine it's very important to get rid of it now your, your virus scanner typically will pick it up um, it will try and remove it it might remove it it might not remove it but the thing is it will always come back as soon as it's in your system it's very very hard to get rid of so, to permanently get rid of it, the first thing we need to do is reboot your machine and boot into safe mode. So, what you do is you reboot your machine and you press F8 just before the Windows logon would, logo would normally show. You'll get this screen here. If you click on safe mode, it will then boot your machine into uh, the desktop again. So, first thing we need to do is make sure that hidden files and folders are, sh are shown so if you just uh, follow this so you click tools folder options uh, click on the view tab and then make sure these options make sure that is selected uh, make sure this is unticked hide protected operating system files click OK so if we scroll down here if you find your version of Windows so I'm using Windows 10 so if we copy uh, this by the way I'm going to put a link to uh, this website in the description of this video so you can easily get access to this but highlighted in red is where we need to search so if you just copy that so just right click copy uh, if you click on your start menu or if you hold down the Windows key and press R now just paste that into there so it says here delete all files in this folder so delete everything in here because typically this Trojan virus it will be in one of these locations uh, as you can see here these are just temp, temp files so just delete all of them if we work our way down the list so here it says uh, it, there might be a shortcut in there so if we paste that location again, uh, we can see here, this is just a file that I've created, it's not the actual Trojan, but if you just right click and do delete, and work our way down the list. So if we copy this, uh, delete any suspicious files in here. So if I just show you an example, so here. That is very obviously not supposed to be there. What I do is with a file like this, if you hold down shift and press delete on your uh, system, it will permanently delete it. So it won't even put it in the recycle bin. It will completely remove it from your system. And then the last one here, if we just select that. So first of all, go through all of these folders. Is there anything suspicious there that you don't recognize? 
uh, if it is like this one for example what I would do is I'd typically Google that and then it could be a pro a, an official program it could be like I'm not actually sure what this one is so okay it's a mouse controller application I've got but in here it's possible that there's a folder that the Trojan uses and if we scroll down to the bottom there's most likely going to be another executable here for the Trojan so again if you hold down shift and press delete yes to permanently delete it from your system now the reason why we booted to safe mode is because most of the time uh, these files will have locks on them so when you boot into Windows it will automatically start these files and because the files have been started they cannot be closed down like you could do typically with other processes so as soon as you close it down it just reopens again but when you boot into safe mode it does not load uh, files from these locations that's why you can go in there and delete them so as soon as you've deleted uh, all of these files reboot your machine again and your machine should be clean but we need to do a few more tests just to make sure so the next thing you need to do is if you click on that link and download the application so if you just click download uh, install the software and then it will run so we need to perform a scan on your system so if you just select the top three boxes there and then tick that box and press ok it's going to do a full um, system scan on your machine uh, if it does find any threats it will tell you ask you what you want to do to them uh, what I would do is select delete and press OK that will then delete all of the uh, suspicious uh, processes on your system uh, this will delete all of the root kits from your system this this root kit is how the Trojan um, gets into your system so the Trojan might have gone but then the rootkit could still exist that um, the Trojan used to get into your system so removing this it won't be able to get back in again so what I do is I, I perform the scan, I remove the files, I reboot my machine uh, run this a second time just to make sure that the threat hasn't come back again okay after when that is finished what I would like to do is make sure that your local antivirus is up to date and perform a full system scan again on your machine uh, this way you know that you've got a clean system um, after you've removed the threat from your system there are a few things here a few tips I've put down the bottom just to make sure that you don't get infected again or minimize the risk of you getting infected again shall I say so frequently check that your antivirus is being updated because if you don't get the latest um, virus definitions you're not protected from the latest threats that are out there on the internet so of course every week or every two weeks just go into your software and make sure it's updating correctly it's always good to do a full scan of your machine now most uh, virus scanners you can schedule this or usually you can right click on the the tool in your taskbar here and do perform system scan you might do that sometime if you're going for a break having a lunch break or maybe after work or when you finish playing your games or whatever you do in your system it, it's good just to yeah, just to make sure the frets are off your system uh, I like to run Windows update probably every three four weeks uh, make sure the latest service packs and hot fixes are installed from Microsoft uh, a lot of the time Microsoft will patch um, an issue with their operating system which is how these rootkits and malware and trojans get onto your system in the first place so make sure that's uh, up to date um, but the most important tip is don't open up any email attachments or links in emails that look suspicious a typical example I can give you is I use eBay quite a lot and I get quite a few emails about my email account being limited so you know is it an official email from eBay you can check in the email is it from eBay.co.uk or eBay.com 